It's one of the most fun things to watch in baseball. The big guy comes up to bat, knocks one into the outfield, rounds first, and puts on the jets for that extra base. It's a testament to not judging a book by its cover. Despite what their appearance might suggest, some of these players run the bases a lot faster than you might think. And watching the big guys go for that extra base got me thinking. How much would it hurt to get hit by one of these dudes at full sprint speed? So I've set out to answer that question with a new stat, and I'm going to tell you which guys would hit the hardest if you got in their way. Quick spoiler, don't get in the way of this guy. I'm Jack of All Baseball, and this is Stat Heavy. The stat that I've created is called Move, and in simple terms, it tells you how hard each player would hit you if they ran into you at their sprint speed. To make the stat more easily understandable, it's given in terms of how much weight it would feel like pushing down on you for the small amount of time you're in contact for. Now, I'm going to show you how I made the stat. If you don't care at all about the math behind it, go ahead and skip to the time on your screen, and you can look at which players in 2022 would hit the hardest. The momentum of a player is given by their mass multiplied by their velocity. During a collision, we care about the change in momentum of the base runner. This means we want their mass multiplied by their change in velocity. During a collision, the base runner usually still maintains a bit of forward movement afterwards. So we'll say the change in velocity is their sprint speed minus the forward velocity they continue with, which we'll take a guess and assume is about a meter per second after the collision. Now that we have the change in momentum, we can calculate the force the base runner exerts by dividing it by the time the players spend in contact, which we'll guess is a little under half a second. Let's say 0.4 because these collisions happen pretty fast. Now we have the force a base runner hits with at sprint speed, but let's put it in a more understandable form, like how much weight it would feel like on top of you for that 0.4 seconds. To do this, we use the equation force equals mass times acceleration. For something pushing down on top of you, the acceleration is just gravity, 9.81 meters per second. So dividing the force by gravity gives us the amount of weight it would feel like in kilograms, which I just convert to pounds to make it more understandable to everyone. And that's the move stat. So let's take a look at the leaders this year and in a few others. Maybe even a few players decades ago, which would be interesting. For a stat about how hard a base runner would hit, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the players who dominate the rankings are big guys who run well for their size. This stat will never serve much purpose outside of being funny to think about and interesting to see who leads it, but it shouldn't be lost on anyone that the leaders are also great examples of some really impressive athleticism. In saying that, let's take a look at which base runners in 2022 would hit the hardest. This is a chart showing the move stat for every player with at least 10 competitive base running opportunities in 2022. Starting at the very bottom, we have Yanni Hernandez, who would hit with a force equivalent to 256 pounds. He played for the Arizona Diamondbacks in 2022 and was listed at 140 pounds with a sprint speed of 26.8 feet per second. Being listed at 140 pounds doesn't help his case, but he also ranks below the average sprint speed of 27.2 feet per second in this group. Moving up the line, we get to the middle section where most of the players fall. The average move value for players in 2022 was 382 pounds. One of the players who matched this was Didi Gregorius with a listed weight of 205 pounds and a sprint speed of 27.3 feet per second. Finally, making our way towards the players we're really interested in, we start seeing guys like Big Dumper Cal Raleigh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Young Thick Austin Riley, Joey Gallo. And then there's this point way up here, 40 pounds ahead of the next hardest hitting base runner. I'm sure most of you could have easily guessed this, but this point belongs to Aaron Judge, who was listed at 282 pounds with a sprint speed of 27.3 feet per second, giving him a move value of 526 pounds. That's like half of a grand piano on top of you during the collision. 
Are we sure this guy wasn't created in a secret Yankees lab in the seedy underbelly of New York City? I'm not convinced. Anyways, here are the top 10 hardest hitting base runners in 2022, along with their sprint speed and weight. There are quite a few rookies on this list. Will Benson at 10, J-Rod at 7, Encarnacion at 5, and Oscar Gonzalez at 3rd. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising to see a lot of young guys up here. Their youth probably helps a lot with speed, despite the weight they're carrying. And just in case anyone is interested, here are the bottom 10 players as well. Because StatCast offers the sprint speed of every player, I'm able to use this stat for anyone with 10 competitive base running situations between 2015 and 2022. So that's exactly what I did, and here are the results. This shows you how many seasons fit into each 25 pound bin for the move stat. As you can see, most players hit with a force equivalent to between 350 and 400 pounds. And the only five seasons where a player surpassed 525 pounds? Every single one of them belongs to Aaron Judge, with a high of 548 pounds in 2019. The 500 to 525 bin is shared by a few different players. Avisel Garcia, Evan Gaddis, Miguel Sano, and Carlos Peguero. And finally, as for the two seasons that rank the lowest, these both belong to Yanni Hernandez from his 2021 and 2022 seasons. So we can see how hard a base runner would hit in the stat cast era where we're given everyone's sprint speed. But, would it be possible to find out how hard players from the past would hit? With a little research, I think that we can definitely get a pretty good idea. So let's test it out on one of the most fun base runners to watch in history, Ricky Henderson. An article from The Score claims that Ricky clocked in between 9.6 and 9.7 seconds in a 100-yard dash. This would place his sprint speed at about 31 feet per second. Of course, running track is not the same as running the bases, but without adequate footage of Ricky running that I could accurately time, this is what I'm going to have to settle for. As for Ricky's weight, StatHead has us covered, listing him at 180 pounds. This gives him a move value of 388 pounds. Nothing to scoff at, but his relatively low weight compared to a lot of these other players definitely holds him back, even with his superhuman speed. The move stat I've created doesn't really serve any purpose to evaluate skill, but nonetheless it's still kind of funny to think about. If we wanted to improve it, we could always measure the average collision time and after collision forward velocity to get better numbers than the ones we guessed. But as it is right now, I think the numbers aren't too bad of an estimate. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Jack of All Baseball and I'll see you next time. Before I end this video, I want to extend a huge thank you to the YouTube user Hosts of Michael for creating high-res variations of my logo to use on my channel. I have the graphic design capabilities of an 8-year-old, so it meant a lot.